this is the guy that I think we're both the highest on uh, compared to everybody else. And it's Russ Wilson, uh, who is finally free of Pete Carroll's run first offense in Seattle. Uh, yes, it's sir. time for t- time for him to light it up uh, in Denver. He was quarterback three in 2019, quarterback six in 2020, quarterback 15 last year. So it's not yeah, like we're all, yeah right. It's not like we're outrageously high on QB four, um, but I think we both think that he could finish his QB one this year potentially. Like the, yeah. the, the it's it's possible. So yeah. they have they have a ton of skill position guys there. Melvin Gordon's there. Javante Williams is there. Sutton, Tim Patrick, Jerry Judy, KJ Hamler, Howard Alkwukmanam is is there at, at tight end now that Alkwukmanam, and so. I, we just we really like their skill set players of that that Russ has and like we have him at four we're way higher on him than everybody else is ESPN currently has him at eleven uh, Fantasy Pros has him at ten and and we have him ranked at four because we think he's going to be that good in this offense. Where do you think Russ Wilson is going in drafts right now? Um. I mean, the way that you say it, I'm guessing it's like round nine. Round nine? Yeah. No, who? he is going earlier than round nine. Okay, uh, I was just guessing. I would say that also, there's a asterisk on that. He is going as he one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, eighth. He is going as the ninth quarterback off the board on sleeper right now. But you have to remember when doing mock drafts on sleeper that quarterbacks generally go much earlier than they do in live in person drafts. Like the ninth quarterback in your league draft is going to go later than where Russ is going right now, potentially round nine. I, at least I would think because at this at that point, you know, everybody's kind of sitting around. There's only three or four teams left that don't have a quarterback. And so you just wait. Yeah, maybe, but we love Ru- like yeah, yeah. yeah. He, so he, uh, to that point, Russ or Dak? No, the, the answer is Russell Wilson. Russ, and, and all these yeah. guys are going to all these guys, too. and all these guys are going ahead of him. Russ is going behind Lamar, Burrow, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts, and Dak right now. Yeah, the Jalen Hurts one is egregious. Yeah. 81st Honestly. overall, he's going in the end of the seventh round. Right. And this is a guy that, you know, up until last year where he got dinged up. Quarterback three, quarterback six. He, he's a top five quarterback in a run first offense. Like, think about all of those seasons for Russ where he started the first half of the season just lighting the freaking world on fire, was undeniable top three quarterback, if not quarterback one. And then Pete Carroll, Pete Carrolled the offense, and it was nothing <laughs> but Chris Carson running with, you know, half a disc in his neck, just pounding the ball. And then after that, it was freaking Alex Collins. And then after that, it was just dudes in street clothes. And they just refused (laughs) to let Russell Wilson cook anything of any substance. And now I tell you what, John Elway is going to have Russell Wilson cooking up like hot fantasy football meth. Like it is going to be full bore (laughs) in your face freaking chucking the ball 40 to 50 times a game. Russell Wilson out here plastering dudes. KJ Hamler is going to be freaking Tyler Lockett on steroids. And it's going to be yeah, just freaking bananas. It's going to be bananas. The weapons are freaking incredible. Akwug Banam is basically as talented as Noah Fant was. So they didn't really lose anything in this trade. Uh, He's that's great. That's a bit aggressive too. Akwug Banan- okay. Bonanza fine. is going to be a thing. Okay? Just the value for Russ, the potential for Russell Wilson to outperform where he is going in drafts is... I it's, can't it's even the best. You. It's it's, it, it's the best quarterback value by it, far this year. Yeah, and it's they may be the best team in that conference now after this trade. 
it's true. And, you know, you and me have talked about this offline a little bit. You want to own every AFC West player as you possibly can. Oh, hell it's yeah. Gonna be f- it's it's going to be fun up and down games. They're going to be in prime time. They're all going to be high scoring. To be, right. You're, you're going to want to root for, for all of these guys in the AFC West team. So he kind of checks that box too. And, you know, they have a, have a new quarter or sorry, they have a new head coach as Nathaniel Hackett replaced Vic Fangio. Uh, so like they're, they're going to be opening this offense up and we prefer Russ over anybody. So, you know, we, we don't really like him over, over Allen or, or Herbert. I think we could probably both make the case that you should take him before Mahomes because he has better skill set guys, even though we have Mahomes currently ranked above him in our rankings. I like but him at the value more than those dudes, though. For for sure. No, absolutely no doubt about it. So, yeah, I mean, Russ is going to be great. I can't wait to watch that freaking guy just cook up the AFC West. Yeah, so if if you're listening to this or watching this, he he's the guy we're targeting in in every draft. It, it's basically going to come down to Alex and I looking at each other and knowing. All right, well, if the draft is going smile, this way, creep and cre- and yeah. Alex has two more picks before it gets back to me. I better take Russell Wilson here. Yeah, and he's and now Russ is going to go in like the fifth round in our draft because you and I both agree that he's going to be incredible. Correct and auction leagues. I can't wait to try to get him at a bargain basement level. Yummy. uh, And and, and spend my fab elsewhere. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.